Hey everybody, Anne here, and guess what I got? I got a big old fish, and guess what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to cut it, gut it, clean it, scale it, fillet it, and I'm going to fry it up in a pan for dinner. You know what? I might even make some for lunch. I am so excited because this is the biggest fish ever I have ever caught and prepared, so check it out. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It is so freaking huge. I am going to skin this. I know you guys didn't see me catch it, but <sighs> good lord. Alrighty. I'm going to put it on this big board and I'm going to see if I can figure out how to film it while I am. God, I can't even get the whole thing in. Uh, this is my first time getting a bass. Okay. Whew. Here it is. Look, it's still breathing. Um, I don't know how much it weighs. I don't have one of those scale things, so... Um, I guess what I gotta do is first I gotta cut it this way and then I'm gonna cut it down here and then I don't know I don't know and I don't know how I'm gonna film this so well we'll just check it out um, uh, let me get this set up okay I couldn't find a way to film this but oh my god it's still moving I cut off its head I don't think I cut it off exactly right I, I think I should have done it like this way. I'm not sure, but it's still moving. But check this out. So I'm, I'm gutting it. See? And um, it was really hard to get through this spine. Big old spine. Look at that. Look at that. It's still moving. Check this out. One crawdad. Ooh. Two crawdads. Oh, my God. You know what? I wonder if I can still use these for paint. Oh my god, I'm gonna put it on that bank pole because I'm back at this place. I got my bank pole in the um, in the water with just like a big old dough ball on it. But check this out. I got two crawdads right on. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can use those for bait. Look at their little claws, little tiny claws. Here's one. I don't know what all these internal organs are. This looks like a liver or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, look at all this stuff in here. Wow. Phew. Alrighty, let me finish cleaning this. I got blood all over my hands. It's going to get all over my phone. I'm going to try and... Um, I don't know. I'm going to try and fillet it. Uh... We'll see. This is this is going to be a mess. This is a learning experience. All right. Okay. Well, this is what I've done so far. <laughs> I didn't exactly do it the way you're supposed to. Um, I mean, if you, hey, right, you cut it, you get the guts out, you cut this way, and then you take the knife and fillet it this way. I didn't do it. I kind of screwed up. So I just, I wish I could have filmed it, but. I went along the spine and just cut, 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 and kept cutting around the bones. And then um, this fillet here, <laughs> then I then I took the, I held on to the tail and I took the skin off, you know, put the knife underneath and just filleted it that way. So it ain't pretty, but uh, it is a fillet. Sorry, my hand was in the way. And then this, I'm just going to, I, I uh, took the scales off, and I'm just going to kind of cook it up to see how it tastes. Um, this side here, sorry, I'm jerking around. I'm going to leave the skin on. i got to take the scales off, and I'm just going to cook it like this to see what it's like. Um, yeah, so I need to take the scales off, and uh, this is what's left of the one side after I took this, the skin off. And there's really no usable meat left there. I kind of feel bad because I didn't get real close to the skin. Um, and here's what's left of the carcass. There's still some meat on it. I think once I get better at this, um, I'll get more of the meat off. I might try and get some of this meat off. I don't know if it's worth the work. Uh, but this is the first time I've ever gutted one of these bass. Look what I got. I got a dual burner, propane, cook stove. 
So yeah, I'm going to fry the fish. I got a little bit of bacon grease in there. And here I've got a little bit of flour um, that I'm going to use for the one with the scale still on it. So let's see, what do I got in here? Salt, pepper, garlic, my trusty sandbys, and a little bit of cumin. So let me get that fish in there, get it coated a little bit, heat up that skillet, and let's get to cooking. Okay, that's pretty hot, and I am not used to cooking with one of these stoves. The flame, well, first of all, it doesn't have an automatic igniter thingy. i got to put a match or something underneath there to get it going. And it started out looking really super low. Oh. And I don't know how to adjust it. I'm, I just need to get used to what the flame looks like, you know, and uh, how high or how low I have to put it. I don't know. But I think that that grease is hot enough, and I've got this all, got a bunch of flour on it with the seasonings in it, both sides. So, let's see, which side should I put down first? I'm going to put down the, uh, just throw it in there. I don't need to make it so hard, do I? Okay. Well, we're going to let that fry for a little bit. I didn't put a whole lot of grease in it because I'm not trying to deep fry it, but, oh, God, this is my first time cooking this cooking this fish this kind of way. So, wish me luck. I cannot wait. I'll be back in a minute. All right, that's been cooking for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. Oh, I wish I had some tongs. Yes, that's hot. That's hot. There we go. Oh, that's looking gorgeous. I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit, curl it up a little bit, let it let it cook. Excuse me if I'm not doing this right, but first time cooking a, a piece of fish this big. Alrighty, so I'm going to let it cook for a little bit longer, reduce the heat so it doesn't smoke so much, and then we'll see what it looks like in a bit. Hey, that looks pretty delicious, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the plate. Um, I think I'm going to have to use two hands to do this, so I'm going to put the, uh, the camera, the phone down. And then we're going to taste this, but it looks absolutely delicious. I can't wait. Well, I decided not to make the second filet today. I'm going to go ahead and make that tomorrow, probably. Don't know if I'll put it in a video. That first one was actually very filling, even after sharing part of it with Betty. So, but it turned out great. I'm very proud of myself. I'm very happy. I could do this every day of my life. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.